whenever I'm a, when I feel like I'm going back to America, it's actually nice to come back to kind of the, you know, the Sears, which is actually doing well here in Mexico. And they have songs like Michael Jackson playing and Blue Moon. Can you hear that? Oh, in my heart, without a love of my own. So, we have traveled in time to the other place in the world through the magic of video editing. I didn't know if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to <laughs> look at all the furniture with me. We are spending our time today going through a walk, one story, the third story I believe, of the Buena Vista Mall in Mexico City. You can see it's huge. A really well designed mall. Oh, oh, I need to get. Maybe I should slow down with my uh, turns here. Oh, bam. So Starbucks is packed. Life is returning to normal here in Mexico City. Um, I'm not sure why, because very few of us are vaccinated, but we've decided that we've had enough. Numbers are much lower right now. The weather is really warm. So let's hope for the best. <laughs> Pat, claiming you're part of a cartel. Love this brand. Mexico is the shit. California love. The mall's designed here in Mexico City um, so that you can buy your furniture, buy your food, go to restaurants, go to bars, go to the movies, buy a motorcycle. With a mall like this, I can understand to see those older people, which I'm slowly becoming one of them, who uh, go to the mall and uh, walk around in their sweatpants and headband. <laughs> this mall would be perfect for that. By the way, that's a great store called Ayahue, and uh, they have great culturally uh, humorous or cool or artistic uh, T-shirts and art pieces and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean the numbers are down here in Mexico City. So, I mean we're going to test it out. It seems that with the precautions we can, we can try to get back to a somewhat normal life until we're all vaccinated. Luckily for me, my dad got vaccinated today. He's uh, nine, almost 92, and um, that was a big concern for me. Now, here's Krispy Kreme, and that's great. But they don't even sell cinnamon rolls. But what's the point of a donut shop without cinnamon rolls? I don't even know if they're serious about it selling donuts. The 
store here, Cuidado con el Perlo. It's kind of like the hot topic, maybe, of Mexico City. And now they've gotten big enough to where now here you have the, the gentleman side of the Cuidado con el Perlo, and the other one was for, for women. Supermarket with go to the mall and pick up a mattress. Because Mexico City is so much, it's so huge, like New York City. It, it's like if you combine New York City with Los Angeles, you put it on top of Denver and then pour some hot sauce on it. And that's Mexico City. One of my friend's kids loves that character, but I didn't want to freak that girl out and ask her like, where'd you get your shirt? But her birthday is coming up, so I want to buy her presents. If you want to taste authentic Mexican sweetbreads, donuts, this is a, El Globo is a good place. And I know that looked like a cinnamon roll, and it's one of the great tricks of the pan makers of Mexico City. It's good. But it's just, it's just sweet bread. Cinnamon rolls like they make it in the United States. Hands down is the champion of donuts and bread. Hands down. Hands down. Except for possibly, you know, pan dulce. But cinnamon roll. God. For the most part today during my walk, I'm just thinking about cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I don't know the history of uh, Buena Vista Mall. Like everything in Mexico, I'm sure this mall has an incredible history. And the city that's been here for, since, you know, literally the Spanish invasion has only been since 1521. And before that, there was at least 200 years of another empire. You end up having history just everywhere. I'm always sorry when um, someone's conversation gets fully recorded by my phone. Sorry, man. a flashback. They still have radio shacks in Mexico City and magazine stands. One time I took a photo of this area and there's so many people on the escalator that it looked like a scene from The Walking Dead. And so Mexico City has quieted down through the pandemic. I mean, this right here is for Mexico City. Pretty calm, pretty orderly. Um, it's just amazing how many people were in this area the first time I came to this Buena Vista Mall. Mm. I always get nervous with the guys who pick up the money with their guns and. Here's my, this blew my mind. In the, in the bottom of the mall is a train station. And I know it exists, right? Like New York City and other places, but it's such a simple mall. And then this giant train station. That blew my mind. So, in Mexico, 
police officer can say, gentlemen, there's no recording video here. And then you say, sorry. And then the officer says, thank you. Blew my mind. No disrespect to the police in the United States, but you don't realize how militarized our police force is until you spend time in a place like Mexico, where, yes, they still have the control. But she said, thank you, for me simply saying sorry and then turning the camera away. In America, that could turn into an entire ID check. It's just another one of the beautiful things about Mexico. So, walking down some stairs here. And then I guess we're gonna we're gonna leave the Buena Vista Mall. First, I'm going to uh, show you Pizza Yanni's, which is great, and then I'm gonna almost go through the wrong door, and then I'm gonna go outside. where a sea, an ocean of taxis awaits us. Right into my ear. And I appreciate his effort. Their business is down. I think maybe for some Americans who visit Mexico City or just tourists in general, uh, maybe this would be a great place to visit right from the start. You have you know, really good products, you have really a lot of safety, it gives you a little bit of time to get used to a new country. And, and before you go into the more Mexican markets or you know wander around, this is a, a nice first stop on a vacation if you're coming to Mexico City, especially the uh, El Centro area. This is north of El Centro, but pretty close. Uh, near your hotels by a couple miles. Here again is Insurgentes, one of the longest streets in the world. The bus station there. Every maybe half a mile they have a bus stop. Here is the, uh, the scooter game, the Diddies, <laughs> who uh, deliver your food. But they almost act like and look like a scooter game, or a motorcycle game. All right. So I'm going to start making my videos a little shorter. The original idea was to go for a long walk and show you Mexico in one complete picture. But um, we'll end it here and start up uh, the next walk soon. I hope you enjoyed uh, the time together. And uh, again, Mexico is an absolutely beautiful country. And I hope this helps you understand it, both in its craziness and its loveliness. Have a wonderful day.